Wait, should I turn the light off? Is it better that way? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Hello. Uh. Today I wanted to talk about some quotes I've seen and some. Wait. Thoughts question. Yeah. Do I stop it in between or like uh, do no, I just, just keep going? Okay. Should I start over? No, no, no. Don't no, no, start over. Don't start over. Um. So I was talking about a quote. Uh, there's this infomercial I saw, and it said, "In a world unblissed by a deconstructed time, we follow linearity, yet curse with the inability." The inability to find our undue scars, no, to undo our undue scars, our digitized flesh, and follow a base sense of place. So that was, I thought that was a little out of place for an infomercial. So I started thinking about do modern, like, children's and tween television shows still have the, the major arcs and successful original movies that, like, anime has, for example? Because I feel like there was a time where they were pretty simpatico. You know, like, uh, Neon Genesis, Evangelion, Death Note, they all have movies. I don't know what I'm really going for there. But anyways, Disney Channel used to always have that, where they're, well, they didn't used to always have it, but they used to have it. And like, Winters of Waverly Place has a movie, amazing movie. Good Luck Charlie, I think has a movie. I remember. They do. Yeah, there's Good Luck Charlie, it's like a Christmas movie. Um, Kicking It doesn't have a movie, but that show is like modern masterpiece. Except for the fact they have a Hannah guy named Bobby Wasabi. Bobby Wasabi is weird, I don't know. And also, Falafel Phil, now I'm looking back, <laughs> I don't think that aged well those characters um <laughs> gravity falls is obviously a modern masterpiece um let's, let's see the thing is the modern shows what the what the hell is a bizarre bark is what i wrote because i don't know what it, I, I think i watched a couple of episodes of bizarre bark and logan paul or aj paul's in it and lynn rodrigo which is crazy that those two so i guess you know they say disney stars are still blowing up from that but then like um no more i wrote no more high school musical three. Oh yeah because high school musical three was in theaters like when is a disney channel original movie in theaters so i really like that same with American Girl doll movies I also wrote, because like Kit Kittredge, look back at that movie, amazing cast. Like, well, let, me, wait, let me just fold it up. Oh, that's my phone. Okay, I was just thinking it off the top of my head. Um, well, I know, who's in that movie? Well, I would go wrestling with Kit, and she's great. Um, and then, uh, I think David Strait, here, no, he's in the Spider-Web Chronicles movie. Uh, who's in that movie? Stanley Tucci, I'm pretty sure, is in Kit Kittredge. Like, I'm pretty sure. There was a while where I was mixing up Stanley Tucci and Paul Giamatti. It was only a week. But um, then I saw the holdovers and it fixed everything. Um, so basically, also it's fun. Paul Giamatti was playing the Rhino in Amazing Spider-Man 2 and they were gonna call him back for Spider-Man No Way Home, but then they didn't. And they actually probably were never gonna call him back. He just, he just talked about it in an interview. Paul Giamatti was really cool. He brought the <coughs> Golden Globe 2 in and out, which was cool. Um, and then I also wrote, um, oh yeah, Lil Dicky has an album coming out tonight. So, um, hmm, what do we think about that? Me personally, I will not say my thoughts on Lil Dicky because they, I don't say, I would never say I'm guilty over any pleasure I have, but it might be a guilty pleasure. So, cut.